Today we are learning how to tell time on a clock. Now every clock you see will have these two hands, a shorter hand and a longer hand. The shorter hand we call the hour hand, and the longer hand we call the minute hand. So let's take a look at this clock. The numbers we see around the outside represent the hours. We can see that our red hour hand is pointing to the three, so we know we're somewhere around three o'clock. But what about the minutes? Well, remember that there are 60 minutes in an hour, and so even though it's not written on the clock, when you see these dashes, you need to think of them as skip counts of five. Right now, we can see our minute hand is pointing at the zero, and so our time is three hours and zero minutes. It's three o'clock. Here's another example. If your clock looked like this, you can see the hour hand, that red one, is pointing at the eight. So we have eight for our hours, and then we have to imagine skip counts of five for our minutes. The minute hand is still pointing at the zero, so there are zero minutes. The time is eight o'clock. Let's practice one of these together. Let's figure out what time this clock is showing. Well, what number is the hour hand pointing to? Remember the hour hand is the short one, here in red. You can see it's pointing to the one, so we have one hour. But what about the minutes? Well, we can see our long minute hand is pointing to the 12. But how many minutes does the 12 represent? Remember on a clock that the 12 right at the very top represents zero minutes. So the time here is one o'clock. Here's another problem to practice with. Let's figure out how to show five on a clock. Well, first we need to place our hour hand. What number should my hour hand point at? We have five hours, so I will draw my hour hand pointing at the five. Now what number should my minute hand point at? Remember, even though the minutes aren't written into the clock, that zero minutes is pointing straight up at the 12. This is how you show five on a clock. Now it's time for you to practice on your own. What time is this clock showing? We can see the short hour hand is pointing at the 10, so we have 10 as our hours. Then for minutes, we see the long minute hand is pointing at the 12. Remember that for minutes, the 12 represents zero minutes. So we have zero minutes, the time on this clock is 10. Now here's your last problem for this video. How do we show six on a clock? Well, first we're going to place our hour hand. We'll have it pointing at the 6, to show 6 hours. Then we have to place our minute hand. Well, we have 0 minutes, and remember that 0 minutes we show with our minute hand pointing towards the 12. This is how you show 6 on a clock. Today you learned how to tell time on a clock.